Well, we could soon be saying goodbye to yet another venue that has been a critical part of Toronto's live music scene. So we are here in the heart of Parkdale at the Cadillac Lounge. This is where veteran musicians and indie bands have graced the stage for the last 17 years. Well, this bar and building are now up for sale as the city's music scene undergoes a dramatic shift. The Guess Who's Burton Cummings is one in a long line of musicians who have rocked out on this stage since the doors opened back in 2000. The Cadillac Lounge and its rockabilly feel has not only been a go-to venue to see veteran rockers, but also a place for indie bands to grow a fan base. <laughs> see that? Somebody's yelling, keep caddies open then. For music lovers, the thought of this bar shutting down is hard to swallow. It's going to be really sad to see it go because uh, it's, it's brought in a lot of good people. It keeps a lot of people in the entertainment industry going. And it was featured in Playboy, I don't know how many times. So it's like a Toronto landmark that's known internationally. So I just can't bear to see it go. After 22 years in the business, owner Sam Grosso tells City News it's simply time to wind down and focus on family. His wife Leah says the decision wasn't easy, but the shifting music scene in Toronto is beginning to take a toll. It's a struggle. More in recent years, in the past five years or so, it's been more of a struggle. A string of live music venues has been shutting down over the last year. Most have been forced out because of skyrocketing rent. And while the decision to sell the Cadillac Lounge is a personal one, Leah tells us people are not coming out and supporting live music the way they used to. It's been harder to get people to come out to live music venues, to spend money on cover charges at the door, which is how we make the money to pay the bands. It's getting more difficult as people are interested in um, electronic music, they're interested in going to see DJs as opposed to intimate band settings like our businesses. <laughs> Mayor John Tory, who's been trying to put Toronto back on the map as a music city, also weighed in on the caddies' fate. Every uh, area of the arts, every area of industry nowadays um, is undergoing transformation of one kind or another for different reasons. But I'm absolutely committed to the future of music in our city. For the venues that are closing, and that's in many cases unfortunate, um, there are some that are either reopening or are opening that are new. So last night, it's a small venue, but I was at this rec room that opened down in the uh, roundhouse across from the CN Tower, and they have a, a small music venue in there that might seat 200 people, and that's the kind of venue that we really need. Now, the owners of the Cadillac Lounge say they will take their time, and their hope is uh, to find someone who loves a buyer who loves live who loves live music. Excuse me, and will try to keep this bar running. At the same time, though, they say that they have to do what's best for their family. Until that day comes, though, it is going to be business as usual here. So you can expect a lot more live music happening on this stage all summer long.